For this video in the What Is series brought to you by IGR and 5th Gen Media and sponsored by SureCall, we will be discussing DAS. A DAS extends the coverage of a cellular network in an outdoor or indoor area. As the name suggests, rather than using a single antenna configuration on a cell tower, DAS uses an array of small antennas spread over a wide area. There are two basic types of DAS, active and passive. Passive DAS uses unpowered antennas throughout a building, relying on the power of the central radio. Active systems use powered antennas, or nodes, which take the signal from the central radio and reamplify it. Active systems can be tuned and controlled more accurately and are generally more flexible. Signal boosters, or RF repeaters, are another form of DAS that extends signals in a building or area but do not add capacity. These solutions are ideal for places where coverage is required, such as a parking garage or a warehouse. Active DAS is now being developed into DRAN, Distributed Radio Access Networks, and CRAN, Cloud Radio Access Networks. These new architectures put smarter radios at the end of an optical fiber connected to a centralized baseband processor. This allows the system to be far more flexible, more easily upgraded, and able to support new 5G technologies. Some say that DAS is dead. It is not. DAS is evolving and becoming a new species of radio network able to support 5G.